Hello friends, welcome back to Big Deno Plays Kingdom Death Season 2. The people of the White Tower have successfully defeated the Gold Smoke Knight. The people of the Red Keep are here to try and take down the Dragon King and the people of the Stars. Uh, today we have two showdowns for you. We're here in Lantern Year 10. We are going to have a special showdown against the Manhunter. And here he is. Ready to go. And then we're also going to go on a hunt. Uh, what we'll do in the uh, thing is we're gonna we're gonna do our straight away do our special showdown uh, and then dive into the other one. So I'm taking some survivors here. So I'm taking Drogo, um, who is my constellation, which is uh, still a risk to try and um, level up weapon proficiencies really quickly thanks to his storm constellation. So. Uh, the equipment that he's wielding is the Grinning Visage, the Celestial Spear, and the Round Leather Shield. Thanks to his shield uh, specialization, he is at six armor and the one red affinity, thanks to Iridescent Hide. We're also rocking Brienne. She is moved into a support role. Um, we're going to put her um, around the Cat's Eye Circlet, try and shoot off some Cut Gut Bow. Uh, shots if we can, but yeah, she's full support. Uh, Olena, we're going to be rocking the uh, Lucky Charm, which isn't gaining her a luck because it's only got one blue affinity for the moment. Uh, and the um, Dragon Vestments, so she's rocking uh, six armor as well, thanks to the two different colored affinities in the vestments. Tywin. Uh, he's just rocking the Vagabond set. And <clears throat> hopefully going to proc plenty of Sword Oath wounds so we can get that devastating underway. We're ready to go. Uh, so we're going to depart. Drogo would gain a constant, uh, an additional um, survival, but he's already at max. So um, This man Hunter is a level 2, which means he's got 7 basic and 6 advanced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six advanced. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, and then our hit location deck. Cool. All right, uh, let's get stuck straight into it because I'm excited. So I've hopefully remembered all of the Manhunter's things now, so I shouldn't shouldn't miss the Tombstone or the full stride at the start of the turn or anything like that. So our best evasion we've got is Tywin. Um, not really keen on having him take too much hits though, so we'll probably make Brienne the one who cops it most of the time. Alright, so uh, we can begin right now. Uh, so we have, start of the turn, always we do a full stride, which is a full move. So the Manhunter's move 7. So he's going to move straight towards Brienne. He's going to then have a swing on Brienne with a Tombstone. So the Tombstone is a speed 2 attack this turn. And uh, it's going to hit her on a 7+. plus, So she will hopefully not see two hits here. And if she doesn't, she will spend a survival to dodge. Thanks to the Rawhide set, she doesn't gain the survival back. So that's the Tombstone done. She's not knocked down thanks to Tombstone. Crack shot. A random threat in field of view. All right. Well, we can do we can we can do something good here. So at the moment, there's three survivors in field of view. So let's find out who it is because Tywin is not in range. So one, two, three, 
four five six seven eight nine. So it is uh, Olena. So the gun action, we can dash away, which will make him form in patience, which is all non-deaf survivors suffer brain damage. Yep, so we can actually run out of the way at this flow here, even though the gun action, the target's doomed. So I think we are just going to do that. We're just going to use Olena's survival. She hasn't got a lot. Uh, actually, are we worried? No, I don't think we're that worried. She's only got three survivors. If it was anyone else, I probably would. Okay, so she's going to perform gun action. Turn to face Olena. Boom. Have a shot. Uh, two shots hitting on a three plus. So she can't spend survival to dodge because she's doomed. Four damage to the body. No, nope. six damage to the body because it is plus one damage. Okay, yuck. All non-deaf survivors within four spaces of the Manhunter suffer two brain damage. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, crack shot, done. That's the Manhunter's turn over. All right, we'll start with Brienne. She's going to spend a survival. Does she get that survival back to Surge? She does. We're going to have a look here at the raw hide of this. Oh, the trap's on top. Hmm, all right. Do we attempt to cancel that with the spear? Uh, tough call. Tough call. I don't like that gritty visage at all. I think we will try and cancel the spear with the spear. But let's take two wounds while we can. Uh, so Tywin, one, two, three, four, five. He's going to swing with the regal edge. He's living on the edge. Boom, boom. He's got a first strike. So we'll see if he can get that crit. Um, we'll use Faded Blow on this one. It's, uh, sorry, it's Tywin. Uh, no, he doesn't have Faded Blow. But that's good. Cool. So this is Strength 5 plus... The sword is two for seven to give us a total of 15. So that is a wound. We do the reflex. So it uh, doesn't have faded blow, but we'll give him a wound on that. Regal edge. And move the manhunter so he's adjacent to the attacker. If adjacent, the attacker suffers a fear injury roll to the hand with plus one to the results that's a three i think that's gained two bleeding tokens on all of them except for the head so severe injury to the arms gain two bleeding tokens boom boom uh he will then do this one plus two toughness five plus his sharp is a total of 8 plus 7 is 15, so that's a wound. Uh, but it's not a crit. So we do a wound, takes us to 8. Um, What, I'm, I'm confused. What am I doing? Uh, yep, yeah, eight here. I was like, takes it to eight. What does that mean? Yep, yeah, perfect. So, and then he moves to here. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, risky plays coming up right now, friends. Risky plays. 
our friend and legend Drogo is going to swing with the spear, the celestial spear. So he's got no accuracy buffs. He can use champion's right. He will not worry about it. He gets one hit, that's all we wanted. Let's see if we can cancel this trap on a 7 plus. We cannot. So, all survivors within two spaces up. So, I probably should have read that trap. Suffer knockback three directly away from the monster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perform gun action, target the attacker. So, the gun action on Tyre, on Drogo, two shots. Accuracy two plus goes to four plus. One hits. Where does it hit? It hits him in the body. He takes three damage to the body. And then all non-deaf survivors within four spaces of the Manhunter, so no one, suffer brain damage. Great, so that's the end of the trap. And guess what? Drogo can now move into range. Because that was his action without attacking. So he'll now move into there. And he'll swing with the Grinning Visage and he'll use Champion's Right on this attack. So this will give him two plus to hit. Two hits. Cool, we'll do this one. First. Um, so this one, we're Strength 8 plus strength four from the grinning visage. So we're wounding on a two plus. We will use the faded blow to give us a devastating attack. We do two wounds, one, two, and we will gain our shield proficiency point on Drogo. Go Drogo. We now do the reflex roll to turn, turn to face the attacker. The result is greater than the attacker's insanity. It's not, he's insanity six. So that one is done. And now we will roll this one on the gun arm, plus two toughness to wound this location. It's still anything but. That's a wound. And he moves to here. And Drogo's up at one, two, three, four, five. So Drogo is gonna just probably stay out of the fight now. <laughs> um, all right. So we will do Olena. She's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and she's going to swing with fist and tooth in the rear. That's two hits. She's got a mozza of bonuses. Oh, the death blow location. Damn. That would have been hard to try and get. Anyway. So we'll do that one first, and we'll use Faded Blow. So she's strength two, plus an extra one from Monster Claw. Takes it to three. Plus Faded Blow takes it to 5. Uh, and his toughness 9 here. So we're looking for a... Whatever it is. That's a wound. Faded Blow. 1, 2. Thanks to that... Uh, the Death Touch. We could get plus 1 to wound this. But we'd love to see a critical hit. Come on. No. Reflex. Full move the Manhunter towards the attacker. Turn to face. Suffer a severe waste injury. Oh no, that's bad. A six on the waist. Is destroyed genitals. Well, we can actually get that. Um, we can actually get that fixed. If we go visit the uh, chap. Destroyed genitals. Gain a random disorder, you are knocked down. Gazing upwards, you wonder at the futility of your struggle. Gain three insanity, gain one bleeding token. One, two, three. One bleeding token. And a random disorder. The random disorder is... Arithmophilia. Oh, that's a bad one. When you gain this disorder, roll 1d5. Your movement is that number. You are now movement 1. Elena. 
Boo! All right, well, we need to get rid of that for sure. Uh, what are we trying to get with her constellation-wise? Uh, we do need Destined for the Gambler. So, I guess we'll get rid of Controllophobia. That's terrible. Well, we need to get rid of that quick smart. Speed one. She can't even dash out of the way now. Um, Brienne will have a shot with the Catgut bow. She'll just roll two shots on sevens. Nothing. Brienne will stand up. Um, Tywin. She doesn't get the survival back. Tywin will dash. Oh, I had to spend that survival to surge. Tywin dashing through the snow. And he'll swing with the regal edge using a surge. It's two hits. First strike. No, we've got to stop seeing these stupid, <laughs> severe injury ones. All right, Tywin. See if you can get me a crit, mate. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, gained three survival. One, two, three. Uh, he's got his weapon proficiency point. He's got another wound. Takes him to nine. That does a wound. Uh, awesome, we don't have to do that reflex. This offhand thing. If you hit with a whip, nope. Uh, so we'll just count that up. Three plus four is seven, plus two is nine, plus sharp. That's enough. He's toughness 11. Yep. It's another wound. Come on, we're getting this. What is doing? Getting this crystal skin. We're getting this regal edge up to sword mastery with thing. All right. Great. So that's the end of the turn. Uh, actually, Olena can surge, so I think we'll surge with Olena. And Fist and Tooth. Let's hope there's no trap. Uh, two hits still. Super dense. Corded neck. Alright. Well, we'd love to see some crits here on a nine. That one in particular would be awesome. Uh, yep. So we'll do this first. See if we get that. Yeah, it's a crit. Roll 1d10 and add your strength. If the result is 6 plus, the manhunter is knocked down. It's not. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not because you don't get that monster claw bonus. But it's still a critical wound. And because of monster claw style, that is a savage wound. Two wounds. Nice. Which means it's minus one strength on this one. Sorry, minus one toughness. So let's see if we can crit that one as well. Oh, yes. But well, we don't get Savage on that one, so. Awesome, you strike a tender spot, gain three survival, one, two, three, and three insanity. One, two, three, all right, so. She's got her proficiency point. Brienne doesn't have a proficiency yet. Tywin's got his proficiency point. It's all looking good. It's the end of our turn. <laughs> Someone's gonna get shot with a tombstone. Alright, beginning of the monster's turn, full move, attack all adjacent threats in facing, we cannot get around this, so the first one on Tywin, to hit him, uh, he's evasion 4, so that's 2 misses, and then on Olena, uh, she's evasion 1, so that is 1 hit, which hits her in the head, one, two, three, she will four, she will take that and be knocked down. At this point, I'm gonna surge, because uh, we know that this is a gun action, is our only card we've got left in the deck. 
so it's going to be a random threat in field of view. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll say one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so it is Tywin. So at this point, I'm going to spend a survival on Brienne to surge to look into the deck. We don't get it back. One, two, three. There's no trap. There's a wound location. Great. Um, and then we will spend a survival to surge with Tywin during this flow, which should result in one hit. It's here. Uh, if we wound, so that's three plus four is uh, seven plus two is nine. So sharp a five. So that is enough to do the wound, which gives us an 11th wound with the regal edge. And we gain a red vile strange resource, which we could use to remove all bleeding tokens, but we instead will simply kill the manhunter. Pretty comfortable. Uh, we've got some good survivors and some good, good devastating and uh, attacks that do heaps of attacks, heaps of wounds, so pretty awesome. All right, let's have a look at what we get here in this Manhunter showdown. You know, I didn't even put a, I didn't even put another terrain card on the board. I was that excited about fighting that guy. All right. On a level two, uh, the Manhunter goes first. All right, so first of all, manage departing survivors. Hunt XP, we get age three on Drogo and Tywin and age one on Brienne. And then uh, we will return from Showdown. We have Fist and Tooth Mastery added to the settlement, which is great. Drogo also gains three weapon proficiency, one, two, three. We now have Shield Mastery added to the settlement, which is unreal. Drogo gets an iron, he vomits it up. Blech. Fantastic. And then we heal all light and heavy injuries. And we continue. So we gain a two plus. And on a on a two plus, oops, sorry, we gain a hunter's heart, and on a two plus, Drogo can get the Abyssal Sadist fighting art. He does not get it, he gets a one. Tywin, sorry. Awesome. Hunter's Heart. The Hunter's Heart rare gear. Um, I don't remember what that does. At all. Hunter's Heart. There it is. Yeah, Hunter's Heart. Um, all right, so we don't have to do a, a settlement event because this is still the same year. So we now have to go out on a normal hunt. So I'm gonna switch off and have a look into that and we will come back shortly, stand by. All right, just remembered we do have some age rolls to do, so Let's do those now. So Drogo, our reincarnated brainless sneak of the antelope, has achieved age three. And he gains a 13. So a 13 is a random fighting art. He is not wearing the vestments, so he must gain a random fighting art. And we'll probably replace, uh, we'll probably replace champion's right, actually. He gets, Trailblazer. Oh, that's perfect. I love that one. Uh, yep. We'll do that for sure. Uh, I think we'll keep Abyssal Sadist. He doesn't have any accuracy. Uh, yeah, Champion's right. Trailblazer. Good work. Drogo. Uh, we also have an age roll for Brienne. She gains... Six, which is one permanent strength. And she can choose a weapon proficiency. She, she's going to choose the bow. Uh, 
We haven't got any good guitars yet. Really would like to get a good guitar. Um, actually, let's choose Grand Weapon. Let's see if we can get a Grand Weapon. That's good. And finally, uh, Tywin, age three. He gains a random fighting art, and he gains... Oh, Unconscious Fighter. <coughs> That's actually um, exciting. It's not normally a, uh, a thing I get excited about. <laughs> but... Uh, I think there's a thing in the in the uh, in the Sunstalker that's actually um, yeah that you you can you need seven bleeding tokens. All right, so nine understanding is what we're going for here. If we get that and we get the Oracle's Eye ability, don't know how we get Oracle's Eye. I know you can get it from killing the. Um, I'm killing the tyrant. I wonder if there's any other way to get it. Oh, well, I think... Actually, I think newborns can, can start with iridescent hide or... Um, that. Something like that, I think. So, alright. Uh, let's, let's get stuck into hunting ourselves a level 2 sunstalker. <laughs> That's a very, very, very scary thought, given how absolutely light on I am with... Well, all I need is a couple of shields and I'll feel much safer. Should we hunt a white lion uh, instead? Well, all, I so, all I so desperately want is... Uh, some hide so I can make more leather shield so I can make bandages so I can make a thing so I can get some fresh acanthus like it's just killing me so I'm, it's like I'm sort of tempted to face off against a lion so that I can actually get some get some gear um, but I want to fight the sunstalker because it's awesome and I've never fought it much so what I might do, what's what's the next few lantern years look like? We've got three lantern years, so if we hunt a lion this year, try and load up on some resources, hopefully get a white lion cub, cut some resources up, let's use Drogo once more and level up a weapon proficiency of some point, some description. And yeah, then So what proficiency should we give Drogo? Oh, sorry, what proficiency should we go for next? <laughs> Look at all of these. What a legend. Specialization, shield, shield mastery. Boom. Uh, I reckon... I reckon we go for... We don't have a weapon that I that I need to chase down. <laughs> we don't have a weapon. What can I make at the moment? I don't think I can make a bone smith. Sorry, a bone axe because they're what would I use? The prismatic gills. I feel like you need them for something, you know. You need them to make the hood. Um all right, what's the play? What's the play? Let's not take Drogo out. Let's go. Let's go hunt a Sunstalker and let's see if we can get uh, some stuff that might be interesting to use. So we'll take Brienne. We'll take John. We'll take Tywin. And we'll take Olena. Oh no, Olena's speed one. We've got to clear that disorder. Uh, we can't do that for the moment, but she's got her fist and tooth mastery. Let's just take her out when we can, when we can actually do a disorder. Uh, all right. Is there anyone else instead of Daenerys? Tywin. 
Tywin, Elena, yeah, Brienne, John, Daenerys. It's either Daenerys or Missande. Let's take Missande actually. She's got. We're going to hunt a level two Sunstalker. I think this is a mistake. <laughs> I'm going to check this a bit. All right, we are ready to depart against a level two Sunstalker. We have a couple of things to do. We could we could do. Now we've got Song of the Brave now, so we can go through the. Uh, Overwhelming darkness without concern, which is great. Uh, we've got a we've got a um, item that we picked up from the man hunter called Hunter's Heart, and we can we can uh, archive it to clear some severe injuries and do some other stuff. But I don't think we're going to do that yet. We might just see how we're looking at the end of this hunt. We may do it in the next Lantern year. So let's depart right now. I'm very excited for this hunt. This is a uh, exciting, exciting fight. I've only fought it once before. We're going straight into a level two. Let's get loose. <laughs> All right. So, just double check. John would get another survival, but that's fine. Uh... Great, he's got Abyssal Sadist, Daenerys, got Quixotic, yep, so she gains a survival and a strength token when she departs, Missande, uh, she hasn't departed before and she's got Destin, so she's going to have no insanity, and finally Tywin, he has, yep, all of those, perfect. So we'll start with John taking this random hunt event, kicking us off with a 46. A river. Non-insane survivors suffer one brain event damage at the river of blood. So, insane. Unfortunately, Daenerys is not insane. Missande is not insane. Great. So, each survivor must investigate. Uh, yep. So, first of all, John gets a four. Suffer one event damage to a random hit location to the boots. Great. Daenerys, a three, that's the same result. One random event damage to a body. Missande gets a nine. You find the monster's trail. And finally, Tywin, a five. One event damage to his hands. We find the monster's trail. Good work. Good work, team. So the next person will be Daenerys into this hunt. Oh, this is the one you can get that crown thing. I think I want to try and get that now. Well, Daenerys will do the cradling skeleton. Uh, or do we want to use the understanding? Nah. Yeah, we'll do the cradling skeleton. No. So we gain three insanity, one, two, three. And we gain the emotionless disorder. You cannot gain strength tokens. Well, she's already gained one, so she'll get it for this hunt, but she won't get it for anywhere else. Tis a shame. Miss Sande will take this one. Perfect medal. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Soft grades of blades of grass. You decide to rest. Roll on the table below. Missande does have three understanding. So what do we get? We get a nine. The monster's trail is lost. Roll two random hunt events before continuing to the next space. Terrible. Missande, 64. 
a stone fountain. So everyone, I think, will consume. Let's do... So John will definitely consume. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to John. <laughs> he gains courage. He gains an eight. It's water. Good for you, John. Uh, Daenerys will consume. Gain a courage. A nine. Game one, survival. All right, well, if that's all we get out of it, I shan't be trying anymore. <laughs> Good work, team. And the next one is 92. 92. We are going to use our pickaxe afterwards. Well, each survivor suffers one brain event damage and gains one founding stone. Awesome. All right, well... I've got a blank spot on three of the survivors, so I'm going to do uh, Daenerys. She's going to get us another Founding Stone. I'm actually just going to do it this way. Starting pretty good, actually. One, two, three. So I may actually, I may actually pop a few of those in this. In this fight, so John's not going to pick one up. Daenerys is going to add a another founding stone. Missande is going to add a founding stone, and Tywin, he's going to add a founding stone. So we may actually use these this lantern year. Great. Uh, so the next one belongs to Tywin, and he rolls a twenty-two. Acid rain. Do we have sculpture? No, we don't. All survivors suffer two event damage to every hit location. Oh, that's bad. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's terrible. We don't have sculpture. No. The event revealer. Rolls 1d10, it's a 7. Add Acid Storm to the timeline next year. Cool and terrible. Alright, we're back to the start. 67 for John. Saliva pools. Mm, nobody has a sickle. Each survivor rolls 1d10. Uh, John, is the result yes, less than survival? Yes, they continue on. Daenerys, 7, no. Suffer one event damage to the body, gain one understanding. Missande, uh, it's not less than survival no so she's going to suffer one event damage to the body and gain an understanding and finally tywin oh i wanted him to roll over so he could get an ins uh, understanding he continues on yes we have three understanding each survivor may archive a thing no we're fine we are fine Damn, alright, so Daenerys takes us into the overwhelming darkness. We walk the path of the brave for everyone. John, the path of the brave. A four, he gains a minus one evasion token, and all other survivors gain one survival from the display. Fantastic, I'm not going to bother with the minus one evasion token because we get to give it away thanks to Song of the Brave. Daenerys. A seven, one event damage to the arms. Missande, a ten, gain the leader fighting art. Cool. <laughs> and Tywin, a seven, suffer one event damage to the arms. All right, so we will do our... Sonorous rest right now 
before we move on to the next space. So that will be a pretty easy one. We will take the insanity gains here because everyone's at max survival. So uh, three insanity, one, two, three, and then each blue will give you an additional insanity. So two blue. Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, I've already added the insanity. Uh, none, none, no, no, one, none. Great. We don't have war room. Although I'm beginning to think we may need to get war room. <laughs> so we can, uh, Wow, because that's awesome. You can remove tokens like bleeding tokens or evasion tokens or anything like that. So that's good. All right. Well, next up, uh, back to the hunt, we are going to do mineral gathering. We'll do that before we go into here. Uh, so mineral gathering. We have two survivors with a pickaxe. We have Daenerys and she rolls an eight. She gains a scrap basic resource. And she may descend into the worm tunnels. Um, yeah, I think we will descend into the worm tunnels with Daenerys. So we gain a scrap. And then Daenerys, let's see what she does. That's an eight. So we don't probably want to go into the Crystal Lake, or do we want to go into the, hmm. She is insane, so we can't really afford to go into the Lantern City. So I think we'll just take an iron out of that. One iron. Yep. We'll just take the iron. Good. So, Masande, she's going to harvest. She rolls a seven. So, she finds an iron as well. And then she rolls a dice on a six plus. So, yep. Her pickaxe is destroyed. Unlucky Masande. Destroyed pickaxe. But that's two iron, which I'm pleased about. So, um, okay. Um, so let's then go on to the actual event. And that will be Masande taking us into that event. An empty pool. We don't have a survivor with a sunspot lantern, so we roll a random hunt event. We roll 73. A golden ember. What do we do? I think we will go around the smoke. 38. No, not cancer pigeons. Stupid cancer pigeons. No, it's 38. 38. Gregalope! Do we have the strategist fighting art? We do not. Add your movement to the roll. A 9 is 7 to 14. Regalope is too far. It's gone before you know it. All right. Sunstalker. Here we go. Here we go. So. Uh, and then AI cards. So let's just... Separate these bad boys apart. 
dropping cards. So B, A, B, 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 L, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, A, L, L, B, B, oh, B, B. All right. So this guy has... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Nine basic cards. Cool. And five advanced. One, two, three, four, five. And one legendary. All right, so Thanks to us meeting some people on the way, the refugees, we get to look at the top five cards and decide how we want to structure these. So, there we go, boom, boom. Top five, one, two, three, four, five. Cosmic Heat, we don't want that. Tentacle Whip, further survivor, closer survivor. Yeah, that looks good. Two tentacle whips. Yeah, we'll put we'll put the tentacle whip on top. And we'll put these other ones underneath so that we can try and clear those bad boys away. Alright, so the only change to this guy's core cards is he has a Shadows of Darkness trait, which means he can place doofuses in shadow. So here we go. Uh Here's the boss. I've turned it slightly because he's always facing down this end from what I've seen so far. So we want to try and get some salt this lantern here. Um, all right, so Tywin's probably our best bet for taking the hits, tanking the hits. Uh, and so is Masande or John. Uh, don't. I think he's got that. No, cool. So, all right, let's do it. Set up like that. Great. All right, well, we know what it is. It's this one, it's Tentacle Whip. So, uh, the closest survivor is Tywin. So, he's going to go all the way into Tywin. And have a swing. Uh, so he's speed four on this, and he will hit on eight. So that's two hits. Uh, these will both do uh, two damage apiece. So we'll dodge the hand, we'll take the two on the thing, and we will suffer. Bash, bleed one, and knock back 12. So he's going to get knocked to here, which will collide with another survivor. Just going to quickly check if collision with another survivor does damage. Collision with survivor. No, it doesn't. We just both get knocked down. Uh, yep, cool, so we're both just knocked down, so that is done, that goes on the solar flare template thing, so now uh, these two can stand up thanks to fist and tooth proficiency, so stand by while I mull over my turn. Okay, let's start by using a surge on John to have a look at what is on top of the deck and we have one two three we have a light pen we have a death blow that's a cool one if attacking from the light if attacking from the light a wound reaction on that one's not great all survivors within two spaces suffer one damage and knock back 12 Okay, we can probably we can probably afford to do that one 
now. So let's do this. So what we might do is we're going to start by uh, we're going to start by doing a dash with Daenerys. She's going to go to here. Uh, sorry, John's got the rawhide set. Does he get his survival back for surging? He does not. Uh, so Tywin's going to move, he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he's going to attack from darkness with the regal edge. Uh, one hit, regal edge 5 plus, does he have any accuracy, I'm confident he doesn't, but he gets mastery on the sword, he gets plus 1 accuracy, cool. 2 hits, boom, boom, he's not in the light. So, uh, he gets to do his swing first and see what he rolls. It's a nine. It's definitely a wound. So, that is a wound on that light bending first strike. Regal Edge gets to 12. Uh, and then on the Prismatic Gills, uh, four plus four is eight, plus two is 12, plus the sharp. That's a wound. At this point in time, I'm going to surge with uh, Daenerys to make an attack. So we've got this card in play at the moment. So Daenerys is going to swing with the Celestial Spear. She hits twice. Oh, she's got Rhythm Chaser. Um, yep. It's a second wound. Uh, so she gets two hits, the Brilliant Mouth and the Cosmic Stalk Nipple. Perfect. So, uh, to wound this one, if attacking from the light, suffer minus five strength. So she is attacking from the light. So she's going to be rolling four down to three. Uh, three plus... Two, so she fails to wound that one. This one. She fails to wound that one. Turn to face the attacker. Not in darkness. So that was a waste of attacks. Now we do this. All survivors within two spaces of the monster suffer bash. One damage, so one damage to Daenerys to her body. One damage to Tywin to his hands. Knock back 12. So he goes here, hits that, and gets one damage on his waist. She gets knocked back to here. And that is archived from crashing into it. So that's the end of that. All right, now John's going to shoot his bow. Uh, I forgot to add the next wound there. 13. Good. So John shooting his bow. He's got specialist. Uh, doesn't have any accuracy, so he re-rolls both of those. It's two hits. Nice work, John. Oh, no, he is in the light. But that's good news. Uh, so he suffers one damage to two hit locations, body and head, one, two, and then he moves one space away, which doesn't do anything because nothing's out of range, so he can now wound that. He's going to use Fated Blow on this one. Uh, boom. Seven plus his strength of two is nine plus the bow is 12 plus the fated blow so that's a devastating one two and he's got himself a weapon proficiency point uh, oh and Tywin has a weapon proficiency point as well which is good uh, so uh, that's that one 
So now this one, there's a reflex action on this. So he does have a luck. So we'd love to get a crit here. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being my crit friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> Gain one shadow ink something. Special resource. Shadow ink gland. Cool. And he doesn't have anything for... Oh, he's got Abyssal Sadist. One, two. And... Yep, great. Does a wound. Good work, Johnny boy. Keep that. Okay, so we might do... Uh, might do Missande. She's got the King Sphere. What else has she got? Champions right. She's got Faded Blow. Yeah, let's try and let's try and use the King Spear. Can she get into Shadow and attack someone? Where are you there? So John will dash. Let's see if he gets that survival back. He does. He's just gonna dash to here. And then Missande is gonna walk to here, so she can attack in shadow with the King Spear. She will use Champion's Right to gain four understanding added to this attack. That's two hits. It is with a spear. She will use Fated Blow on this attack. So uh, the Shun, Sun Shark Snout. So Fated Blow plus her strength of two plus the King Spear gives her a total of seven. Uh, so she's looking for a five. Come on, Sande. Yeah. Yeah. Faded blow. One, two. Love that. Ignore the failure reaction. The cosmic tentacle. There is a reflex action here, unless we can crit, of course. Uh, I'd love to crit, but this time she is not going to be using faded blow. So she's looking for a seven. Thank you. Boom. If you are in darkness, she is. Rotate the sundial. 90 degrees clockwise. Does a wound. Did I already do the wound? Let me check. All right, I did. So I think uh, that potentially is everyone. No, what we might do is we might use Miss Sande with leader to encourage... Tywin to stand up. So Tywin is standing up now. He is going to swing with the... What did I do then? No, that didn't happen. Uh, with the sword. Once again, two hits. The prismatic handed fin. And light bending. Damn. If you're in the light. He is in the light. Oh, I had to roll an extra one anyway. Because of the speed token. Don't be the trap. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we cancel all hits now out of range. This guy moves to here. He suffers one damage to two hit locations. Head knocks him down. Body, fine. Damn, that's a shame. All right. We will call that our turn, I think. We'll call that our turn. So, do we want to stand the monster, or do we want to stand up in the monster's turn? I don't think so. We'll stand where we are. A mood perform a basic action. So this mood goes here. Perform basic action. The furthest threat in darkness. There's no one in darkness. The closest survivor. It is Missande. So it's four dice, hitting on a seven plus. Three hits, terrible. So each of these uh, does three damage. So that's three to the body. One, two, three. We may dodge that actually. 
uh, three to the boots, one, two, three, three to the waist. Yeah, we will dodge that one, one, two, three. Uh, so, spending a survival. So the after damage she suffers, knock back 12. She's knocked down to there. That's the end of his basic action. Great. So, that doesn't add a card to the Solar Flare deck. Love that. We're going to stand up with everyone thanks to Fist and Tooth proficiency. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to spend a survival straight away with Daenerys to dash. She's going to go one, two, three, four to here. Uh, we will spend uh, a surge on John to see if he gets it back. He does. We're going to look at the deck. One, two, three. We have a trap. Okay. Well, we know the trap's there, so let's do that. Tywin's going to move into position here. He's going to swing with the regal edge. He hits twice. We know this. We know this. This we ignore because we're in darkness. And uh, try to wound it. Uh, that's a wound. With sharp. Uh, Tywin, 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1. Regal Edge, 14. One wound. This one, see if we can get a fertility tentacle. Uh, plus sharp. Uh, 8, 2 is 10. 4, 5, yep. It's a wound, but no thingamy. Alright, we've got the trap on top of the deck now. So, who do we want to proc that with? Alright, let's proc it with... Let's proc it with Missande. Uh, yep, so he's at 14. Was he at 15? 15. 15. Uh, Alright, so let's spend a survival with John to dash. He's going to go one, two, three, four to here. Five to here. Does he get the survival back? He does. Uh, Miss Sande is going to go one, two, three, four. She's going to swing with the spear. Uh, she gets two hits. We know one of them is the trap. Oh, that's bad. We were supposed to turn him around. Oh, well, let's see if we can cancel the trap. We cannot. All survivors are doomed. Whoops. Okay. Each row ends at the first base occupied by a survivor. Archive destructible terrain in the vomit zone. Survivors in the vomit zone suffer four damage to two hit locations and gather black blood. All right. Well... On Miss Sande, she suffers four damage to her head and her hands. I love that. I love that. Miss Sande, black blood. When you have this place, bleeding tokens on this card. If you have more than five bleeding tokens and you don't die, conquer your shadow. Okay. Tywin. Uh, this could be bad. Can't dodge these, so... Waste and waste. All right. Well, he's knocked down. And now he's going to have to do a severe injury roll. And he rolls a five on the waist. Warped pelvis. Bleh. Okay, one bleeding token. Okay, place all cards in the solar track into the discard pile and rotate the sun one degree sideways. Cool. All right, well, the good news is we proc the trap. The bad, yeah, the good news is we don't have to worry about solar damage that much, I suppose, but... Yep. Interesting. All 
All right. John's going to shoot his bow. Or do we use it to have a look at the hit locations? John's going to use his bow because he's in darkness. Two hits. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Ignore that. Great. Okay, so it's a wound. See if you can wound that right bending one. Seven is a wound, thanks to the bow. One there. And then this one. Six, so I've got to count that up. Six plus two is eight. Plus three. No. No good. This is toughness, 12. Yep, so we don't do that wound reaction. He's already surged this turn to look in the circlet, so... Um, we may use... Masande to stand up. Again, here. Which gains him a speed token. Uh, she'll go to here. And should she have a punch? Yeah, she'll swing the Celestial Spear. Two hits. If attacking from the light, we are attacking from the light. That's a shame. Uh, we'll do this one first with the Spear. That's a failure. Celestial Spear! I don't think that's enough. Six plus four is ten. Uh, no, not enough. So failure. She suffers four damage, knockback twelve, and gains a minus one accuracy token. Four damage to her hands. No! Spear injury roll. A three. Oh, that's gained two bleeding tokens. And she suffers a minus one accuracy. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to hope the best... Tywin now. Come on, buddy. Two hits. Don't be that trap. Oh, the death blow. Damn, we're not going to be able to do it. Damn. If only we had that thingy online. Um, sort of, yeah. We're not going to have it online. We're going to be too short. All right. Well, we get to use Sword Mastery, so we get to see if we roll a crit. We don't. We're actually going to use that on this location so we don't have to trigger that wound reaction. This one. There's the crit. <laughs> Does a wound. Here's that. 16. Surge, Tywin. Surge. Uh, two hits. Don't be the trap. He's not in the light. Oh. Light speed. I think light speed comes before everything. Let me just check. Light speed. Yep. Yeah. Attacker must spend light speed. Damn. Rotate the sundial clockwise until the attacker is in the light. He's in the light. Discard this card without attempting to wound. Damn. Now, he's in the light. He suffers no damage because there's no cards on that deck. Then we move the monster one space away. Damn. All right. Well... I think we'll call that turn there. It's a bit of a shocker. It's another mood. Perfect. Perform basic action. Alright. Well, the basic action says a survivor in darkness. There isn't any. So the closest survivor can be any of Tywin or... 
Missande or Daenerys. Daenerys will be the target because she's got the least wounds. Four swings hitting on sevens. Two hits. This will do two damage to the waist and two damage to the body. Knock back 12. Boom. That's his basic action over. All right, now let's start thinking about do we want to try and get some salt? I think we do. So let's send Missande on a salt journey. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Using a dash. Great, so that'll be next turn. Uh, John's going to use his cat's eye circlet to see what we've got coming up. I regret not trying to get that death blow. One, two, three. Ah, trappy. Okay, we've got an impervious first strike, a light speed, and a kaleidoscope of vomit. Hmm, okay. I think we're going to try and prop the trap, actually. Uh, going to encourage her to stand up. One, two, three, four, five. She's going to dash. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, John's going to go. One, two, three, four, five. And Tywin is going to try and go. One, two, yeah, he's going to use the regal edge, swing there. Uh, put the trap on top, so that's one hit. It's the trap. We know it's the trap. Uh, so he's going to suffer four damage to one hit location, and that hit location is going to be the hands. One, two. So he's going to have a severe injury roll on his arms, which is a two, so he has to use his lifetime reroll. A three. I believe that's game two bleeding tokens. It is. One, two. Lifetime reroll used. Uh, and that'll knock him down. So the only card that he's got is Tentacle Whip. So he's going to do Tentacle Whip. That's the furthest survivor in darkness. There isn't anyone in darkness. So it'll be the closest survivor. We probably... Yep. Actually, did we sever his tentacle? I need to check if we severed... Because I definitely severed a tentacle, didn't I? Was that a remains in play location? No, persistent injury inked. Okay. Shuffle that bad boy again. Cool. So, yep, so he's going to do his uh, attack on Tywin. So, four dice hitting on eights. It's one hit. Hits him in the boot, it's going to do one damage. He's going to gain a bleed token. Knock back 12. One, two, three. Boom. End of the turn, that goes over here. He's going to stand up, thanks to fist and tooth proficiency. Okay, so one, turn this back to the center. One, two, three, four, five, plus a dash. And she'll then harvest that salt. So that's one salt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And she will also harvest the salt. Uh, so 
So that's another salt. Um, so that's good. So now John's going to spend a survival to... I uh, don't know if I spent her dash, but there you go. John's going to spend a survival to use the circlet. One, two, three, and we have no death blow. We'll use the cosmics. Yep, we'll go these two. Great. Uh, he's already got his bow proficiency point. He's already got his sword proficiency point. So, one, two, three, four, five. He's going to have a swing with the regal edge. It's two hits. One, two. Uh, so he gets to roll his wound roll first. And then decide which hit location. It doesn't matter. Because he's at 17 wounds now. Fantastic. But that's enough because there's two moods in play. And there is one card on the AI deck. Good work, team. Good work. So, I don't think I trigger that black blood if you have more than five bleeding tokens and you don't die. Five, token, five bleeding tokens is not more than five. So, we don't get to do conquer your shadow. All right. Well, uh, we take the win. Yeah. So, let's... Manage departing survivors gain one hunt XP. John achieves age two, return from showdown and advance the year. All right, let's do it this way. Let's do John's age two. Four and eight gain one permanent strength. It's twelve on age two. Great. Now, what do we get from this bad boy? Four basic six Sunstalker. And one 1,000-year one sunspot. All right. Salt. Salt. 1,000-year sunspot. And then we have four basic. I just need hide really badly. <laughs> Six Sunstalkers. Let's do the Six Sunstalker. Alright, we get one, yes, two, yes, uh, no survivors are blind, three, yes, four, yes, five, don't need bones, go away, six, boo. And one, yes. Two, boo. Three, four, a broken lantern. All right. Well, the broken lantern's fine because we have Hoarder. And that's on Tywin. So with the Hoarder, he's going to archive one resource gained from the showdown to gain one courage. Bang, that's the Broken Lantern, done. We also have these. Fantastic. Okay, um, we have Acid Storm and we have another settlement event. So let's do the non-Acid Storm one first. Take these boys out of the way. Ugh. We get... That's a nice one to see. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about some lights in the sky. At all. Lights in the sky. Actually, that is pretty great. All 
All right, well. Hmm. Acid Storm comes as well. Where are you, Acid Storm? There you are. All right, each returning survivor might have to archive a gear card of their choice. We've got some founding stones up our sleeves, but it's a six out of scrap to the settlement storage. Great. Scrap, scrap, scrappy. Okay, let's keep those there. I'm probably just going to hunt another Sunstalker. Actually, I might hunt a lion so I can get I can get some hide because I felt very naked in that uh, in that hunt. So, okay, well, uh, let's enter in our resources. We've got plenty of resources to enter. Shadow Ink Gland. Uh, small sun teeth, sun shark bone, cycloid scales, uh, cycloid scales, shadow tentacles, cycloid scales, and then we've got some strange resources, we picked ourselves up, two salts, one, two, we picked ourselves up a thousand year sunspot, one, and we picked ourselves up two iron, one, two. We've also got monster bone, monster hide, monster organ, which I think I'm just going to use for our innovate straight away. Spend our endeavor. Why do we have six? No, we've just got four. All right. Um, I'm interested to see what out what we get here. We've got some good ones in there. If we get Saga, that makes uh, some decisions easier. So, Shadow Dancing, probably not. Bed. Possibly. We need a survival limit increase. Settlement watch is also a possibility, actually. Cooking. Cooking is a possibility, too. Jeez. Uh, it's a free thing. And an increase in survival limit. Settlement watch is really good when we have the sonorous rest. Don't think we want bed. What else are we looking for in here? Fuck, there's some good ones still in here. Jeez. Scrap smelting would be good. Um, I think I'm going to take bed. We'll take cooking. Is there a cooking conf... Uh, a cooking consequence. No. Alright. Yeah, let's do a cooking. I'm 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 not gonna be able to make anything because I don't have a screaming antelope in this in this thing, but it's an extra endeavor every turn and it's uh it's an increase in survival limit, so Uh, all right, I think we'll send our Nuffy survivor up to the tyrant, the one we picked up during that hunt. What was his name? Some rubbish guy. Logan, Logan, go in there, mate. See if you can roll us a 10, Logan. 10 would be good, mate. No, nope. he'll use his lifetime reroll. Come on, Logan. No, nope. four. Blind, severe head injury, and gain a scar. Not used. Blind. Gain a 
Hang yourself a scar, mate. All right. Well, uh, with our last two um, things, I think what we're going to do is try and try and get over the line on this friggin' uh, if we if we get nine understanding on Tywin. We can we can be very close to the witch ability. So I think that's what we want to do. And yeah. Uh but we may want to make leather. Yeah, so let's uh, let's make leather and then let's spend an innovation, an endeavour to. Um... Oh, actually, I think yeah, I think we might just take. We're going to take him out on a hunt. It'll happen organically. So, let's make leather and then we'll do the uh, lights in the sky hunt event on someone. So the leather. Let me just look at our hide situation. Okay, so we need cycloid scales for all of the armor pieces. I'd love to make the armor set, but I just, I really think a couple of shields are probably better now. I'd also love to make the blacksmith. I'd also love to make the sun lure and hook. Uh, what can I make from these weapons? Let's have a look. Gear, filters, craftable. Is there anything I can make right now from the Sky Reef Sanctuary? We can make the sleeves. Well, we can make a lot of the equipment. Oh, Sky Harpoon. What does the Sky Harpoon do? I feel like it's pretty good, isn't it? Reach three savage. Pretty good. Um, sun lure and hook. How do I make that? What do I need for that? Sun shark blubber and one scrap. Okay. Um, I mean, I really want to make, I really want to make a cycloid set. Cycloid scale hood. But I've got so many crystal skin survivors, it just doesn't feel like the right option. What do we need to make a sleever? Two thousand year sunspots, one salt, one black lens and one sun shark bone. All right. Let's not worry about that. Let's use these for some hide. So we're going to turn two of these into leather. I'm going to turn these shadow tentacles into uh, nothing, but yep. So then we're going to make two leather shields. Uh, leather, leather. And then we'll craft, because those shields... Ah, oh, sorry, no. We'll make one shield. Craft. Then we're going to make... Uh, yeah, we've got, we, we've got to make bandages, actually. <laughs> we're going to make bandages, and we're going to make a... Um, sickle. Sickle. Craft. Bandages, craft, thank goodness. Oh, we can still make a sky harpoon. I've already got some good spears. All right, finally we can start doing some fresh acanthus so we can take some dried acanthus out with us. Sickle, bandages, for fuck's sake, can't believe we've been going this long without bandages. And a shield. 
Okay, I'm feeling much better. Oh, I've got to remember. Got to remember. Sonorous rest. All right. Um, good, good Lantern year, friends. Good Lantern year. Um, we'll have to think about who we're going to take out on the next hunt and what we're going to hunt. I think a, a lion might be the go. Um, let's think about what what we want to get. I really want to make a Skleever. So to do that, we need a thousand year sunspot and a shun and a black lens. So we might go. We might hunt another level two. Um, another level two. That was a fun hunt anyway, so let's do it. Um, all right. Well, I am going to, uh, catch you all in the next Lantern year where we're going to hunt ourselves another Sunstalker. Big Deno.